where we share mindfulness, wellness, and the journey towards a more balanced and abundant life. This week, I've been reflecting on something we all encounter on our paths, fear and anxiety. Sometimes life gives us those little nudges, or not so gentle, or so we call life quakes, to address what we have been avoiding recently or in the past. For me, this week brought some unexpected news and realizations that might have stirred up these feelings inside of me. So you might have heard about the mega trust earthquake prediction that might affect regions like Indonesia, Japan, and New Zealand. So living here in Wellington with the earthquake prone areas in New Zealand really heightened up my fear and anxiety towards it. And somehow I'm actually living on a building that is earthquake prone. I have never fear of the earthquake here. <laughs> until that news pop up in my family's back home has been telling me about it and then we found something in our beloved apartment mold yep you guess it right <sighs> we are forced to find a new home a safer one for us because it has been affecting our health um our lung feels fiery from that and my husband and my daughter has been having quite um, allergic reaction because of that so we plan to find a new apartment for us to stay in and then they can spray the mold away from this apartment so it's time to let go of this beautiful first home that we have in New Zealand so right now I'm feeling kind of torn about it because I really love the view. I really love how we settle in this place and I thought we're gonna be here for at least another two to three years and it doesn't happen that way <laughs> but that's okay so we just need to embrace the changes in life and it's today video I will share the mindfulness practices that keep me grounded and also overcoming this fear and anxiety at the same time still functional to find a house or apartment for us to live in in the next month. So stay until the end because this will be so beneficial for you if you are having those kind of fear, unexplainable anxiety in your daily life and it will help you cultivating peace and joy into your life instead of like manifesting the fear into your life. You'll find out soon. Let's get started. Your house is your sanctuary, a place where the energy should uplift and support you. The spaces we inhabit hold on to the energy we bring into them. So it's important to set a positive tone because the space remember. Simple adjustments like adding plants, diffusing essential oils or creating a cozy nook for meditation can make a significant difference. These small changes help cultivate a nurturing environment that truly feels like home sweet home. Mi casa su casa. <laughs> Think of the spaces where you spend the most of your time as having an invincible bubble energy around them by consistently bringing love, calm, and intention into these areas, you build up a deep sense of comfort and peace. Over time, these spaces remember and reflect that positive energy, helping you create a home that not only supports your well-being, but also feels deeply nourishing. When fear or anxiety starts to bubble up, return to your breath. Close your eyes. Take a deep inhale, hold for a count of five, and then exhale slowly for another count of five. This 5-5 five, five diaphragm breathing method quickly calms your nervous system, bringing you back to the present moment. Imagine your breath as a wave, or gently washing away tension and fear which is cycle. This simple practice centers you, allowing you to approach challenges with a calm and clear mind. 
Boundaries are essential for protecting your energy. This doesn't mean building walls, but rather cultivating a sense of what nourishes you and what drains you. Gently say no to what doesn't serve your highest good and say yes to what brings you peace and joy. Let go of what no longer serves you or is no longer beneficial, even if it's difficult. Years ago, I would have found this challenging. But through mindfulness practices and meditation, I discovered my own healthy boundaries. If you are on this journey too, check out my meditation playlist on YouTube, link in the description below to help you find your inner peace and balance. Off we go, life goes on, I guess. <laughs> so I'm now heading to a meeting with a potential workshop collaboration. So let's come with me to have a walk in the windy and rainy Wellington. It's super rainy here today. Um, it has been raining cats and dogs, but it's not too bad to walk in, not too windy. Changes can be intimidating, but it's also a beautiful opportunity for growth. Who would have thought that so many unexpected things in life could have happened? Yet they do. Instead of constantly preparing for the worst, try living your life with intention and purpose, fully present in each moment. This mindset builds resilience against the inevitable changes and life quakes, allowing you to navigate transitions with grace. Just like bodybuilders building their muscles, we are building the mental muscles. You get it? <laughs> Done with my meeting, I'm so excited. Um, manifesting this workshop to happen on end of September. So until then, we'll keep you posted. And actually, I manifested this meeting about the workshop since I came. Uh, I purchased a lot of things from them. I really love the vibe, I really love the people. And I also love how um, the whole store is actually bringing wellness in overall, including supplements, uh, teas, and also the, all the oils, candles that is so natural and good for you. So if you know what it is, leave me a comment below. <laughs> if not, stay tuned. Well, you know, Lastly, don't walk your path alone. Reach out to those who support you, support your journey. It can be friends, family, or even a like-minded community. Sharing experiences can provide comfort and new perspectives. Remember, we are all connected, and in those connections, we find strength and support. Connect with me through Instagram where I mostly post about positivity in life, manifesting, and create a safe space for you to share with me. We are in this journey together. Thank you so much for joining me today and sharing in this journey of overcoming fear and embracing change. Whether it's moving to new space, facing uncertainties, or simply adjusting your routine, approaching these moments of mindfulness and an open heart makes all the difference. This week has reminded me of the importance of staying grounded, centered, and grateful even in the face of change. I hope these tips resonate with you and help you navigate you from challenge with grace with ease. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your community, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much. And don't forget to stay in the loop by subscribing. Next week's video will be all about... And I can't wait to share more with you. <laughs> also, if you'd like to support the channel and have a virtual matcha with me, you can buy me a matcha. There is a link in the description below. Your support is the word. Lastly, I'd love to hear about your own experience. When you are feeling fear or anxiety, what